being traveling and a little tired in our body. Yes. But I believe the Lord will give me enough strength. Yes, He will, Bishop. Amen. Because I look to the hills from whence cometh my help. Yes. Because I know that all of my help yes. cometh from the Lord. So I'm leaning and depending on Him. Yes. And I'm asking the Holy Ghost that He will give the servant of the Lord the strength yes. and the unction. Amen. To speak for God's word mm -hmm. in times like these. Yes. We call your attention today to the book of Luke, chapter number 15. Luke chapter 15. I ask you to be patient that we read these few verses. We want to read from verse 11 through verse 24. 11 through 24. When you have it, say amen. 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 I thank God, as I often say, when I hear pages are turning, I love for people to bring their Bible and, like they say, in the court of law, when they arrest you, if you don't have an attorney, <coughs> one will be provided. Be provided. Amen. They have one if you can't afford one. So thank God the church has extra Bible. Yes, sir. To give one to those that will come and visit the house of God. And it's all right if you don't have one, you still come. Is that right? Amen. Amen. Just to be in the house of God. That's right. That's right. To be in his presence thank is you, blessed Lord. enough. That's right. And he would give you that which you need. Yes. So Luke chapter number 15. Verse 11, I'm going to do the reading, and then we'll go forward with the help of the Lord. Thank God, amen, for the need help in the reading as we go forward in Jesus' name. And he said, A certain man had two sons, and the younger of them said to his father, Father, give me the portion of goods that falleth to me. And he divided unto them his living. And not many days after, the younger son gathered all together and took his journey into a far country. And there wasted his substance with riotous living. And when he had spent all, there arose a mighty famine in that land. And he began to be in want. And he went and joined himself to a citizen of that country. And he sent him into the fields to feed swine. And he would fain have filled his belly with the husk that the swine did eat. Mm -hmm. And no man gave unto him. And when he came to himself, he said, How many hired servants of my fathers have bread enough to spare? And I perish with hunger. I will arise and go to my father. And will say unto him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and before thee. And I am no more worthy to be called thy son. Make me as one of thy hired servants. And he arose and came to his father. But when he was a yet a great way off, his father saw him and had compassion and ran and fell on his neck and kissed him. And the son said unto him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and in thy sight, and I am no more worthy to be called thy son. But the father said to his servants, Bring forth the best robe and put it on him and put a ring on his hand, and shoes on his feet. And bring hither the fatted calf, and kill it. And let us eat, let us and be merry. For this my son was dead, and is alive again. He was lost, and is found. And they began to be merry. Yes. And we say praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Just for a talk today, coming from this parable that the Lord Jesus spoke. Mm -hmm. It's not too late to come home. It's not too late 
to come home. The Lord Jesus spoke this parable, and I believe most of us, or if not all of us sitting here today, might have heard about this story concerning the prodigal son. Yes, sir. But like I said last week, sometimes we start in the middle of a chapter mm -hmm. and we preach on. But sometimes it's good to go back to the beginning of the chapter to have a better concept, amen, of what the writer was saying. All right. Now, as you look in chapter number, verse number one of chapter 15, mm -hmm. it says, Then drew near unto him all the publicans and sinners to for what? For to hear him. For to hear him. Pharisees, and the Pharisees and scribes, and scribes murmured, saying, murmured, saying, This man, this man, receiveth sinners, receiveth sinners, and eat with them, and eat with them. Now that the scribes and Pharisees had a problem. Had a problem. Yes, sir. Praise the Lord with the Lord Jesus uh -huh. Christ. Yes, sir. Because sinners, amen, and publicans drew near to hear Jesus. Mm -hmm. Now the publicans was a group of people that, Lord, amen, the people in the village don't, they like it. All right, Bishop. Because it was known as the IRS. All right, all right. Praise the Lord, tax collectors. My Lord. And they were not Romans. Mm -hmm. Tax collectors were Jewish. All right. But the Romans, amen, after they came and colonized Jerusalem, and brought their culture to Jerusalem. Uh -huh. Amen. You know, they, they began to look around the people and say, wait a minute now. Let's use some of their people yeah. as tax collectors. All right. So that they would do our bidding and our job for us. Mm -hmm. So most likely the, the Jews that became tax collectors and the ones that had to pay taxes, they start having problems with yeah. between each other. Now, I don't want to get into the myths of slavery because that's what they did, amen, back in slavery. They turned uh, the black man against the black man. Uh -huh. Praise the Lord. The light-skinned colored person, amen, was held in a better position compared to the dark-skinned person. All right. But I don't want to go down the road, amen, because with God there is neither black nor white. All right. Now. Amen. The Bible said all have sinned oh. uh, and come short of the glory of God. But the publicans and sinners came for to hear him. Yes, sir. Praise the Lord. And it is a good thing when sinners decide to come and hear what does said the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. And like I said last week, amen. Jesus didn't give no, well, let me see how to put it. He didn't place no expectation on them on the way that they should come. All right. Praise the Lord. He, he, he didn't say, first of all, go get a college degree. Uh -huh. And only then you can come. Come on, Bishop. Praise the Lord. He never said, hey, man, you have to dress with a nice long dress. Uh -huh. Praise the Lord. Just to come into my house. Yeah. He never said you have to be a certain color. All right. Or a certain gender. Yeah. Amen. To come into my house. Uh -huh. Because God said, my house shall be called a prayer, the house of prayer yeah. for all men. Oh, man. So all men means everybody. That's right. That's Praise right. the Lord. Now the Lord broke down huh? the middle wall of racism. That's right. Amen. I done away with all that stuff. And he said, I don't worry about all that stuff. I just want you to come as you are. Yes, sir. Amen. But they had a mind to come to Jesus mm -hmm. and to listen to Jesus. But do you know the religious folks? All right. There you go. Praise the Lord. You see, as I study the Bible, Jesus never had so much problems with sinners. No, sir. His problem was on the inside. That's right, Bishop. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Right. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. Oh, hallelujah. hallelujah. You, you know the stories about two sons. Uh -huh. I'm going to deal with just the older son for a quick minute. All right. And then we're going to go on home with the younger All right. son. All right. Bishop. Praise the Lord. But the Pharisees, amen, was a type, or the, son, the eldest son was a type of the Pharisee. All right. Now. Amen. The Pharisee were self righteous. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, hallelujah. Our self righteous people. You know, in, in, the, in the church today, you got a lot of self-righteous people. Uh-huh. Come on. Sometimes we, we forget where we were. Yes, Lord. And we forget that one time we were some whoremongers. Yeah. Ooh, like some of the biggest drug dealers That's pushing right. in the street. That's right, That's right man. Uh, we, we don't forget that some of us went and spent time in prison. Yeah. You understand? Some of us forgot that. You understand? Every day we was drunk. Uh-huh. You know what, Bishop? Oh, hallelujah. Drinking all the liquor that you could find. 
Amen. Yes. Praise the Lord. Now, and every time, amen, you, you came back down, you went the next day. That's right. Praise the Lord. Some of us were some good liars. Mm -hmm. Amen. And, and I got to say right now, some still is. All right. Oh, hallelujah. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Huh? <laughs> some of us still playing church. Yeah. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. But the church must not, I'm talking about Christians, uh -huh. should not be self-righteous. No, sir. Right. 
place. All right, now. Oh, read, read, read. But have removed their heart. They have removed their heart. Far from me. Far from me. And their fear. And their fear. Toward me. Towards me. Is taught. By, is taught. By the precept of by men. By the precepts of men. Now, let me explain that real quick, and then we're going to go back now to the younger son. All right, Bishop. Oh, hallelujah. Now, what do you mean by the precept of men? The Pharisees were outside saints. Mm-hmm. Praise the Lord. They serve God based on their outward appearance. Yeah. They came up with certain tradition. Come on, come on, Bishop. When you go into their house, you have to wash the cups, mm -hmm. wash the spoons, all right, wash your feet, mm -hmm. wash your clothes. Hello. You understand? They live like on the outside. In other words, God gonna respect me or accept me based on how I look on the outside. Hello. on what is on the outside, I want to know the condition of your heart. Yeah. Because if your heart is right, mm -hmm. then the outside is going to be right. Yeah. Praise the Lord. So many times we focus on the outside, yes, sir. but it's time for us to focus on the what? Yes, on the inside. All right. Mr. Praise the Lord. I believe Isaiah told, amen, as he looked at the prophet Ezekiah. Uh-huh. Uh, and said, set your house in order. All right, now. Uh, you got to put your house in order. Yeah. Is in order, amen. You don't just set the outside up. Yes. Huh? You don't take care of just the outside. That's right. Huh? Uh -huh. You focus on the inside. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Don't you know if you got guests coming over? Mm -hmm. You ain't gonna worry about going outside and paint the house. Oh, sure. <laughs> <laughs> but if you got clothes all over the house, it's time to clean it up. There's a, there's a show called um, Porters? Porters. Oh, Jesus. Oh, oh Jesus. Jesus. I, oh, I asked myself, how can they even breathe? Mm. <laughs> mm. Praise the Lord, but something has to be wrong with them. Yeah. They can't be in their right mind to live in a yeah. situation like that. Yeah. So I have compassion with them. Because yeah. nobody in their right mind, I believe, maybe you think they are. Mm. Huh? Even though some of them want to hold on to some of their possessions. Hallelujah, hallelujah. But we got to deal with the inside. Yeah. Deal with the mind. That's it. That's oh, it. this is why Paul said, uh, be not confirmed to this word, but be transformed by the word, by the renewing of your mind. God is looking at the mind. Yes, sir. See, I can stand before you today with a nice robe on. All right, Bishop. Uh, and I'm preaching the way I am. Mm -hmm. and, and all of you might be saying, oh, Bishop, and such this. Different reason. Amen. I'm pretty sure now 
He backslid before, so did he. That's right. I left Bishop. Huh? I left Bishop. But I'm pretty sure, you understand, his reason for leaving is probably different. Oh, yeah. But what did that matter? Oh, flat. Oh, hallelujah. So the younger son decided, I, I need to get out of mm -hmm. Get out of Dodge. Is that what they say? Right. <laughs> I need to get out of town. In other words, you know, sometimes children say, you know, I'm tired of the rules yeah, at home. Yeah, yeah. The look of the past and some the past. I'm tired of the rules at the church. Yeah. Hey, Amen. Every time I turn around this and turn around that. Now let me just say something. I listen to me. I believe church must have some rules. Oh, yeah. Amen. But if the people can't hold their five rules, the pastor should come up with 30 more rules. All right, now. Oh, hallelujah. Oh. But if folks can't hold their five rules, yeah. why in the world will I come up with 30? Yes, sir. Then you're going to have more people bucking at it. That's right. Praise the Lord. So you work with them uh, so that they can obey the five rules. Yes, sir. Uh, and if they obey the five rules as you go along, you might be able to add another one. All right. All right. But don't add 25 more to the five that they're not obeying. Yes, sir. You got to work with your children. Yeah. Rules is good to have because rules set boundaries. All right, Bishop. Let your children know, listen, don't go beyond this now. Yes, sir. Stay away from them folks across the street. That's right. I mean, watching them. Mm -hmm. It's a movie. I'm trying to remember the name of it. With they did. Friday. Friday. And what they, they had a lady that lived across the street. Uh huh. <laughs> Today we know what's going down. Something going down over there with that SA. Yeah. You understand? Something going down with that Spanish folks. Yes, sir. And she always knew what was going down. Mm -hmm. Oh, how she understand? And then you can watch her and say. So sometimes you know what's going on yeah. and you begin to send the warning out. Don't mess with the SA. Leave right. them folks alone. Hey, come over there. Because something going down. That's right. You said to yourself, well, I don't see it going down, so I got to see it for myself. Mm -hmm. I got to experience it for myself. Okay. Can I understand that, children? Don't you go down that road, son. That's right. Don't you go down that road, daughter, because I went down that road, and look what it did to me. Yes. I'll backslide from the church, and look what it did to me. Yes. You run into some backsliders, they'll tell you, oh, yeah. whatever you do. That's right. Praise the Lord. Stay in the church. That's right, Bishop. Have you had that experience before where a backslider told you, whatever you do, please stay. Don't come out of the church. That's right. You understand? In other words, things will get rough in the church. Yeah. Because let me say this. Folks in the church are not robots. That's right. We got feelings. We got feelings. We got emotions. That's right. And we're going to make mistakes. That's right, Bishop. Praise the Lord.
Oh, many cats have died. Yes. I won't go down my road with my stories with cats. Oh, but many cats have died. Yeah. Out of curiosity. Many folks are in prison today out of curiosity. Yes, sir. Many are dead today out of curiosity. That's right. Many people have walked out the church out of curiosity. Yes, sir. Eve was curious. That's it. Satan said, but did God told you? Mm. You said, surely die. She said, sure enough, he did. That's what he said. So Satan said, um, guess what? You want surely die. Surely. It ain't gonna happen the way God said it. Yeah, yeah. In other words, your parents don't know what they're talking about. The pastor don't know what he's talking about. Yeah. Stay away from them folks. Mm -hmm. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, praise him. Go ahead, Bishop. I've heard people talk about us over here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Amen. Bad talk us. Mm -hmm. Well, I got to say this now. If we was wrong, yeah. they had a right to talk about us. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen, Bishop. If they see me on the corner sipping on the yacht, mm -hmm. they got a right to talk about me. Got a right. right. Oh, hallelujah. If you doing right, they got a right to talk about me. Don't yeah. they? Yes. So if they talk about me and I'm wrong, all I got to do is humble myself and do that which is right. Because we got to be what? The lights of the world. We got to be the salt of the earth. Yeah. We are the ones to show them the way to Christ. That's right. So the church must be the place that we can let our light so shine before men yeah. that they may see what? Our good works. The world must look at the church and see good works. Yeah, that's right, Bishop. They must stop looking at the church and say, I don't even want nothing to do with that church. Because you understand, they Right. Whenever the word has to look at the church like that, we got work to do. Yes, sir. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We got to work it ourselves. That's right, Bishop. Something wrong when folks look at us and say, they just like the word That's when the church should be different. That's right, Bishop. Amen. So if I'm a crook and they said Bishop if is a crook, they're right. They're right. But if I'm not a crook, mm -hmm. It's not me. No, sir. If you walk in down the road and say, hey, you, mm -hmm. you this, mm -hmm. you know you ain't that. You ain't got an answer. No, sir. You riding on the highway, you ain't speeding. Mm -hmm. You ain't got to worry about the truth that you see on the side of the road. That's right. Because you know you ain't breaking the law. Breaking the law. So I ain't got time to answer to something that I'm not. All right. Praise the Lord. Yeah. <laughs> oh, hallelujah! Go ahead, Bishop. There's a bigger, different valley. Right. Yeah. But they pick the right valley. Mm -hmm. The valley of all no. Mm -hmm. Nehemiah said he read their letter. Said these folks is up to no good. Mm -hmm. That's right. Thank you. Uh, it's a conspiracy. That's right. Uh, they're trying to get rid of me. Mm -hmm. They're trying to stay in my character. Yeah. You understand? They're whispering about me. Come on, come on. They're talking about me. Right. Yeah. Uh, but my faith 
thing, y'all, to my character. Mm -hmm. My integrity. Yeah. Uh, they tried to stay in my character. Yeah. Stay in my integrity. Yeah. Oh, hallelujah. Praise God. Did they do it to Jesus? Oh, yeah. Oh, yes, they did. He said he's a child of fornication. Uh, he's a child of fornication. Nothing. 